Right then, it's your boy back with another pool cleaner video and well we've got quite a leafy pool today so it's not going to be easy for it. So let's check the cleaner out which was sent by Natidi. Inside then we have the control box which the cable from the cleaner itself will plug into. Also you'll be able to turn it on and off and then select what program you want to do. Also the cable which is 56 foot long so ideal for large pools. And then we've got the cleaner itself which was really quite light actually. Obviously it's got no water in it yet so looks good though. Nice and sturdy. Then the tidy cleaner is actually made from ASA anti-corrosion materials so you haven't got to worry about when topping your pool up with chemicals that it's going to affect it. Let's take a look underneath then. Here you can see the two inlets where the debris will go into the filter baskets and also the rubber rollers which help clean the pool and will be quite nice for liners so they don't damage them. Let's check out the filter baskets which are at the front and the back. This is where the debris is going to be collected while the cleaner is going around. And pretty impressively, these can filter down to 5 microns, picking up even smaller particles and filtering your water nicely. Hopefully they're big enough to pick up all these leaves. Alright, so I've got power. The uh, panel's waiting to be plugged in. Just undo the cord. So a pretty useful feature on this cleaner, which you may have noticed while I was unboxing it, is the pattern swivel device on the cable, which actually allows the cleaner to move around the pool freely without it getting tangled up. I've done a little test by tangling up the cable on purpose and then using a device to manually unwind it. it works great both ways, so handy little device to have on the pool cleaner. So let's get it plugged into the panel. Got three pins in here that we need to match up with the left side of the panel, as you can see. And then twist that in. Lovely. Stretch the cord out a little bit. Every time I put in these um, cleaners as well, drop them in like this and just twist them about to get all the air out. Let's get it powered up. So it looks like we've got a couple of options. Floroni or all purpose. Obviously I'm gonna go for all purpose when it's got on the walls and the floor and then it's on green, which means it will come on for five hours. We can have it on blue just to do a couple of hours. I'm gonna put it on for five. And away we go. Speedy. Check out how it cleans out the pool water line horizontally as well, and then goes around the corner. I've never seen that on a pool cleaner before.
Well, I've changed it over to just do the floor because obviously that's where all the mess is. It's looking good so far, but I'm gonna go away now, come back in a few hours, and hopefully it's cleaned up all these leaves so that I don't have to do it. So I've just come back to check on the um, cleaner and obviously it's not cleaned up the whole pool. So I'm gonna, well, I think because there's quite a lot of leaves in, I reckon, the, well it's obviously stopped, but then also I reckon the um, baskets are gonna be quite full of leaves as well. So let's get it out and take a look. It's got a little bit of weight to it when you pull it out. So I just normally rest them on the edge, let the water drain. Oof, it's feeling heavy. There's one. Second one. They're looking pretty ramped, so I'm not surprised they didn't clean the whole pool. What I'll do is get them cleaned out. This is absolutely round. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, absolutely not. Not even surprised. It could not fit more leaves in it if it tried. There's one of them anyway. Same as the other one. Wrapped. Give these a little wash up and then I'll stick it back in the pool. again then a few hours later with a damn near spotless pool the um, cleaner has stopped so it must have been over five hours that I've been gone but it certainly has done a great job let's get it out clean it up and uh, check out how much leaves it's collected in the basket Twig in there. A lot of leaves again. Chuck these out, and then we'll go and rinse it off. Picked up a bit of something there. I think there was a little bit of grit in the pool as well, so it's got a bit of that. So. These are a little bit stuck. Big twig picked up. So we'll get them rinsed off. There we are, all cleaned up then, ready to go again for another clean once the pool starts filling up with leaves. I'm not gonna lie, 
this cleaner has done a very good job and I didn't make it easy for it. So obviously it didn't clean it completely in the first five hours because it was absolutely bursting with leaves in the baskets. So I had to empty it once, chucked it back in and no more leaves. Get the baskets back into the um, into the cleaner and it's ready to go again. If I'm honest, I do prefer the wide cleaners as they're always ready to go, they're more reliable. You're never gonna get loss of suction or forget to recharge them like you might do with a wireless one. So that is the Natidi pool cleaner, which actually is one of my favorites that I've used so far. It's speedy and thorough with a very useful swivel device on it. Let me know what you think in the comments. As usual, there'll be links to the cleaner in the description. Holly your boy for the pool work.